there is something that puzzles me fairly often, which is that very few people are aware of the term technical debt. Uh, and so today I wanted to take a couple of minutes to explain it. Maybe you've already heard of technical debt, but in case you haven't, let me let me explain it to you. What is technical debt? Technical debt is all of the things that are not right with your product without being outright bugs. Like there is no defect. There is nothing actually broken. Things are working as they should. They're just not working as well as they could. And that, you know, expresses itself in lots of ways. It might be a, a bug that you, um, that you found and that you didn't fix properly. You just kind of, you know, made a quick fix because you were in a hurry. And now this quick fix is kind of in the way. It's not ideal. It, it, it's brittle. It, it makes further development harder. It slows you down. Or maybe it's something else. Maybe it's a lack of documentation or documentation that is not up to date anymore. Again, the product is working as it should. Nothing is broken per se, but continued development is just so much more difficult, isn't it? Because you can't be sure that the documentation that you're looking at is correct and current. So you need to go back to the source and do all of the things. And yes, you can make it work because you're a smart person, but it's just, you know, it's annoying. It slows you down. It's just not ideal, is it? Or it could be something like your architecture, which, you know, you thought was a good idea at the time, but now you want to, um, you want to extend your product and all of a sudden you realize that your architecture is now, you know, in a very weird shape. Uh, how can I put a roof on this? Uh, like this, maybe? Hmm. So if you had taken the time to sort of slow down, look around, correct deficiencies as you spotted them, then maybe you would be now in a much better position to continue working on your product. So that in short is the definition of technical debt. All of the, all of the things that could be better about your product, but aren't. And in the next video, I will talk about why this matters, but the long and the short of it is even though accepting technical debt might be uh, enticing in the present because you know you, you're not stopping to do things properly we all know how this ends eventually it'll come back to bite you so that's the issue about technical debt and that's what makes it so insidious because looking at it from the outside you can't tell that something is wrong like your customers your management will say what are you talking about it works yes it works but it's held together with duct tape and bailing wire we can't keep going this way. So be sure to have a plan for dealing with technical debt. Thank you.